Hello, and welcome back to my channel, you know, this is a different kind of video that I'm doing, it's about commentary based instead of gaming. Uh, I wanted to give my thoughts on the FNAF trailer that it released, and, I mean, I saw already, it seems good, but I want to actually give my thoughts on the video, because my brother's a big FNAF fan, and I kind of like it, it's, it's alright, but like, it's a movie I'm probably going to watch, so I want to give my thoughts on what I think of it. And yeah, if you want to see more of this commentary style, if if it does well, then I might do it again. But I uh, I might make a commentary channel, second channel for commentary. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll get into the video. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes, the security guard. I will take anything. This place was huge in the '80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I will work and you will sleep. I understand. First off, Mike has a daughter in this. Mike Schmidt, Michael Afton. It's the first thing. Come here, Ed. See the drawings there? I don't really know how to feel about this, to be honest. I mean, like, so, I haven't seen Megan at all, I'm not gonna, I'm not planning to watch it at all, but, like, so, I'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. We must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. Oh my gosh, guys, it's Frederick Ferguson's Pizzeria Place. No, oh, this is actually a good song, though. I like it. Good classical song, but yeah, cool. In the 80s, kids went missing. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. Hello? They never found them. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. I hope in the uh, movie, when or when, like in theaters, whatever, when you see it, they actually go into more lore detail about it, like with William Afton and like the puppet and um, Henry as well. That's what I'm hoping. What do they want? They want to make her like them. The thing with this, the difference uh, between FNAF 1 and FNA the movie here, because this, these are FNAF 1 animatronics. The, in the FNAF 1, the animatronic children could not tell the difference between William, who killed them, and Michael. So that's why they attacked Michael. So they, they literally changed the entire kind of lore thing. But that's I, I guess. But like we'll see, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. So yeah. Happy. Tell me how to stop them. Was that the bite of '87? It's too late. <laughs> we ain't trapping for now, one. Where to? Is that Corey Kenshin in FNAF with Golden Freddy? Yo! Always get the weirdos. like that that was actually pretty good so 
Yeah. There's just a few things. It's like with the animatronics uh, going after the girl and not going after Mike because of um, William and stuff. Them being like father and sons and that. And Springtrap being in FNAF 1. That doesn't make sense. But over, I'm actually excited for that though. I'm actually glad we get to see William Afton and Springtrap in that because... That's actually super cool. Even if it's even if it's based off an F one, but still, that's super cool. I like that. Overall, I give this movie a nine out of ten. Just some flaws, but yeah, it is actually really good though. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.